Imagine your beloved pet cat, Mr. Whiskers, suddenly gains the power to travel at the speed of light. Sounds exciting, right? But what if Mr. Whiskers decides to take a light speed dash straight into Earth? Now, we're not saying Mr. Whiskers has had enough of the laser pointer chase, nor are we suggesting he's trying a new extreme form of hide and seek. But just for kicks, let's entertain the idea of our feline friend turning into a reckless speedster. So what's the big deal with the speed of light, you ask? Well, it's the universal speed limit, clocking in at a staggering 670 million miles per hour. That's akin to Mr. Whiskers circling the globe over seven times in a single second. Impressive, huh? But when our light speed kitty collides with Earth, things get a little explosive. We're talking about unleashing energy comparable to an atomic bomb. Stay with us as we explore the catastrophic effects of a cat-sized object colliding with Earth at light speed. Spoiler alert, it's not a pretty sight for Mr. Whiskers. So, let's say Mr. Whiskers, in his reckless pursuit of a laser pointer, collides with Earth at light speed. What happens then? Well, for starters, we'd have to redefine the term catastrophe. But let's break this down scientifically. When an object moves at the speed of light, it possesses what Albert Einstein called relativistic mass. It's as if the object's mass increases, and therefore so does its energy. Now imagine this energy is suddenly unleashed. It's like a million cans of cat food exploding at once. No, seriously, it's way more than that. The energy would be equivalent to nearly a billion Hiroshima bombs. That's a lot of tuna. This energy would be delivered in an unimaginably small fraction of a second, creating a shockwave and a fireball that would be, well, catastrophic. The shockwave would flatten everything in its path like a cosmic bulldozer. The fireball? Well, it's safe to say it would make the biggest and brightest ball of yarn you've ever seen. But wait, there's more. The impact would vaporize the ground, creating a crater that could swallow a city. The debris from the impact would be launched into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and causing a nuclear winter effect. This could lead to a mass extinction event, similar to the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. So, to recap, Mr. Whiskers, in his pursuit of a laser pointer, would cause an explosion equivalent to a billion Hiroshima bombs, create a city-swallowing crater, launch a cloud of debris into the atmosphere that could block out the sun, and potentially cause a mass extinction event. And you thought your cat knocking over a vase was a disaster. In essence, the energy unleashed would be so immense, it would alter the very face of our planet. It's safe to say that this would be the mother of all catastrophes. So, not only has Mr. Whiskers made a big mess, he's essentially wiped out everything in his path. Talk about a catastrophe. Well, after Mr. Whiskers' light speed shenanigans, what's left for us? Now imagine, an object the size of a cat collides with Earth at the speed of light. The aftermath? Not so pretty. Our planet would be in a real pickle. Or should I say, a catastrophe. First, let's talk climate. The impact would release energy equivalent to a billion Hiroshima bombs. The sky would light up brighter than a thousand suns. The heat would spark wildfires worldwide, and the subsequent smoke could plunge Earth into a nuclear winter. The temperature would drop, crops would fail, and life as we know it would change drastically. Now on to geography. The impact crater would be huge, about five miles across. It'd make the Grand Canyon look like a pothole. The shockwaves would cause earthquakes and tsunamis, reshaping continents and oceans. As for life on Earth, well, it wouldn't be pretty. The immediate impact zone would be vaporized instantly, including any unfortunate critters in the way. The fallout would spread, causing a mass extinction event. It'd be a real bummer for biodiversity, that's for sure. But hey, let's not be too hard on our hypothetical furry felon. After all, cats will be cats, right? Though, if your kitty did cause such a disaster, what would you do? Put it on a diet of dry kibble for a week? Or maybe just a stern talking to? Share your thoughts in the comments section. And remember, this is all hypothetical. No cats were harmed in the making of this video. We're just here pondering the mysteries of the universe and having a little fun while we're at it. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting the like button. And if you didn't enjoy this video, well, show us some love by, you guessed it, hitting that like button anyway. So. In the end, it all leads to that like button. Thanks, folks.